What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is John Plumley. Many of you know me as Jack. On my channel here, I cover stocks. I also cover how I make income to invest in stocks. So a whole wide variety of videos. But in today's video, I'm going to be covering Grand West Transportation, a company that I'm investing in and want to increase my position in over the next year and a company that's actually changing their name to a much better name in my opinion. So Vicinity Motors Corp is going to be their new official name going forward. And as we get into this video, you'll see that that was the name is the name of the buses that they actually manufacture and produce. And so now that's going to be the name of their entire operations just in general. So let's uh, let's get this rolling and get into the video. So Vicinity Motors Corp, which is a phenomenal name in my opinion, what do they actually do? They design, they manufacture, they sell, they produce buses. So just regular old buses, diesel, you know, regular internal combustion engine, but also, and this is a big factor in why I'm very bullish on this company and why I think they're going to be huge going forward, is they make electric buses as well. So as we all know, you know, electric vehicles, they're really, really getting pushed forward by governments, by consumers, electric vehicles seem to be the way to go going forward. And just a little uh, a little side note here is I would assume that it would almost be easier in a sense to make a long range electric bus because if you're using the approach that Tesla is now doing and actually building the batteries into you know the actual frame of the vehicle when you think about how big a bus is you could put a lot of batteries just kind of in the floor of the bus if that's a if that's a good visual for you so you know theoretically i could see buses pretty much all being electric and that would seem like a pretty simple simple uh transition going forward so that's going to be that is and is going to continue to be a huge proponent for vicinity motors and why I think they're just going to continue to grow and as we'll get into some of the numbers here potentially hit that one billion dollar revenue year over year in about five years from now which is actually what the CEO is aiming for and is announcing so some pretty lofty and pretty ambitious goals with this company which is again why I really like what they're doing also it's again you know not to like relate them to Tesla so much but you know you think of Who's a CEO that sets really lofty and ambitious goals? You know, Elon Musk, right? He's always setting goals that, you know, oftentimes they actually fall a little bit short of. But you got a question, right? If he wasn't setting such high goals, would they would they even achieve what they are, right? Because they're not reaching perhaps some of the goals in full. But just by having such a high goal, falling short of that is still getting a lot farther than they would have if they were setting lower goals, if that makes sense. And you see little bits of that with this company as well, with their CEO aiming for $1 billion in revenue in about five years and doing that year over year. So how are they going to get that revenue? Well, a few of the things they got going on is they are building a facility in Washington State. So they are a Canadian-based company, hence listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange currently. And uh, based in Vancouver area, but now building a facility in Washington State. So still going to be in very close proximity. Washington facility is going to have a 1,000 bus per year maximum capacity, which would be about $500 million dollars in total revenue if they could produce 1,000 buses in that facility every year. So $500 million per year. Now something else they have going for them, which is interesting to note if you are an investor, you know, the business model aside, something that they're doing is actually they're doing a reverse split. So for every three shares, every three shares this company will now become one. They're doing that for a couple of reasons. So what does that mean for an investor? Well, if you own three shares of them right now, which is $2.95 Canadian currently, those three shares now become one, so they'll be around $9, right? So those three shares become one, so the price of one share will you know, be the price of what three shares is now worth. So you're gonna to wanna to potentially get in on this company 
right away here. Now this isn't an official thing. They got to bring this up with the shareholders and do a vote for that. But it seems very likely. It seems like this would be very beneficial for the company for a couple of reasons. The main reason they're doing this is so they can be uplisted on the NASDAQ. So if you are in the States, it can be kind of difficult to find this stock. It's not on brokerages like Webull or Robinhood. You know, for me here in Canada, I just it's easy to find on Wealth Simple Trade and I can buy that stock with no commission fees on Wealth Simple. But for some of the American investors, it's a bit more difficult to actually find this stock to invest in. So they're gonna be uplisting to the NASDAQ, which is gonna be huge getting Vicinity Motors exposure to a much larger investor base, especially as they build their presence in the United States more and more. And that stock price is gonna go up as well just from the reverse split. Another thing that they can do is they can actually raise capital at a higher price down the road, right? So they could do a secondary stock offering and since it's that reverse split, the stock price will be higher. It'll give them the potential to raise more capital quicker through that. Now, a secondary stock offering typically will lower the stock price in the short term I, you know, if they did a secondary stock offering and that stock price went down, I, it wouldn't be any, in fact, it would be good. I would use that as an opportunity to continue to add to my position, which I aim to do throughout the year and throughout the next year, regardless of that. And looking at it from a business perspective, if they can access more capital that they can reinvest into operations, then that's just all for the better, right? Long term, long term with this stock. Uh, let's see what else here. New Mexico State, they've signed a contract with New Mexico State. So that's just solidifying their operations in the United States, actually having customers to get their buses to, you know, moving their United States expansion along quite nicely, as well as a contract with ABC Company, which operates mainly out of California. And so when you think about buses being sold to California, you think of electric buses right so california is really big on green technology green energy green transportation and so anything for vicinity motors to do with california you got to assume that that's going to be big with their electric buses side of things we can uh, look at the chart here so they actually were first listed in december 2013 and they've stayed around that you know 50 cent 50 cent mark getting up into a dollar around 2016 and they peaked up there in about March 2017 hitting $3.45 as their all-time high until recently and then they kind of dipped down ever since 2016 down into the back into the 50 cent range in 2019 so not that long ago a few months ago you could have got in on this company back at uh down, down again at 40 to 50 cents a share. Yeah, in, uh, in about October of 2020, a few months ago, that's when they really started to get some massive growth, getting into the dollar range, now into the $2 range, hitting $4.20 back January 22nd. And right now they're dipping down a little bit, as, as are most stocks in the market. And so it's a great time to buy into them, especially before... Uh, before this potential reverse split and before getting uplisted on the NASDAQ. So for me, I would not mind if this company just kept trading sideways for the rest of the year. And, you know, maybe they didn't do this reverse split, didn't get uplisted the NASDAQ until next year. And if all of this stuff takes a little bit of time, because for myself, I'm really looking to add to my position with this company over the next year. And if I can just keep dollar cost averaging in, around this three dollar mark you know I, I would just love that but whatever happens you know they'll realistically stay hopefully under that ten dollar range even with the reverse split and everything like that which is a big reason why i'm going to be using wealth simple trade to dollar cost average into my position with this company because if i was using a brokerage that had commission fees on every time i bought a stock I wouldn't be able to buy, you know, one or two shares every week with this company, which is what I'm doing. You know, I don't have access to huge amounts of capital, so I'm just going to be dollar cost averaging in and buying, you know, small amounts of shares every week or so, and I can do that because I use Wealth Simple Trade and has zero commissions for Canadian companies, which this is. And I mean, that's a big, you know, if you're an investor out there and you're not using a 0% commission 
trading platform. I mean, that's a huge key, especially for, for young people like myself, just getting into this, just building up your portfolio. Those commission fees will just, uh, they'll, you know, it's not nice. They'll, they'll ding you up. Uh, so that's really all I got to say. Uh, the name change, uplisting potentially to the NASDAQ, exposure to a lot more investors, uh, continuing work on their Washington facility, get that total production up to a thousand buses per year out of that facility alone. And their CEO setting high and lofty goals for things such as a billion dollars in revenue in about five years time. So a lot of good things with this electric bus manufacturer, Vicinity Motors Corp. So thanks for watching this video and until next time, take care.